Well, one would think if you went to the settings uh, for Windows uh, Phone 8 and you go up here to uh, settings and you scroll down your list here, you'd see something about photo and the fall camera. Well, it exists, but it's just not in the list. Uh, so what to do about it? There's a couple different ways you can set up your default camera to go to a specific application when you launch it. So let's take a look. Well, so one way is to go back to your menu and find the application you want. So we're going to go down to Nokia because there's a couple different cameras for Nokia. And you can buy your own camera as well. But you notice here if we say Nokia camera right there or there's the smart cam down here. Now that's the one that takes multiple pictures. But you can set it up to whatever camera you want. So when you press that button, to take a picture, it defaults to it. So I'm going to go back to the list of applications again, because you may have bought your own application as well, and it should have this capability to do this as well. If you go to the Smart Cam right there, Nokia Smart Cam, which we're not going to one we're going to end up with, but I want to show you. Hit those three buttons. You see there are one of the options is Set Camera Button. And there's the Photos and Camera, which is in Settings, it says, but it's not really in Settings. It doesn't exist in Settings. You may or may not have that in your phone. And anyway, if you click on one of the options, you say Nokia Smart Cam, okay, or Nokia camera is whatever you leave it with at the last time you do it. If you hit back, you'll find out that you're going to be launching that particular application. So here we go back to the phone and we press that button, and sure enough, now we're in the Smart Can. This is the one that says hold the phone steady and you can stitch pictures together and things like that. So we don't want this application, but just to show you that you can go into this. So we say, okay, I don't want that. So I'm going to go over here and I say set camera button again. I come down here, I go to that same settings. I come down here and I say Nokia camera and I back out of it. Now you don't switch right away, you stay in the application. So we're going to exit the application and we're going to press the button again. And sure enough, it comes up and there we are in the one we want with all the nice highlighting or adjustments that are available to us like uh, focus and depth and you know all those kind of things we want to be able to do with the uh, more advanced camera. Of course, you can do this yourself with your whatever camera app you have. And in case that application doesn't have the three buttons to uh, get to your settings, you can go actually go down here to Photos, and you can click on the three little dots there, and you can get access to Photo and Camera Settings there, so where you can choose it so that your application becomes the default for your phone. So there you have it, how to default your camera to the application that you want to have. You can go through the set. You can't go through the settings necessarily. Uh, here you can actually go through. Uh, one of several different ways to set it so that you don't have to waste your time finding your icon. Just press your button and you get the right app for your Windows Phone 8. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. I have uh, hundreds of videos out there and we're adding more every day.